All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us do the good work for the coming maybe 15, 20 minutes. Uh, one of you sent me a video of a young female who she converted to Islam. Now, I noticed that some of you take what we do as a joke and as something funny. I look at the comment. It's not mature. And maybe some people think I come here just to make fun. I think you guys you are getting me wrong. What we do here is extremely serious. Can change the life of people, can destroy families or save families. So if you want to be mature, please be with us. If you want to be a kid, just leave. When I see a video like this about a poor woman, poor child, like this converting to Islam I blame her not I blame the foolish parents the foolish society the donkeys who get married but they cannot raise a family they cannot educate their children they cannot take care of their family and then we find a child get lost if you think this is a joke this is extremely serious because that might happen to your daughter too and then you will know how painful that is. So keep laughing. Confused a lot of people. A lot of people heard this and they thought that I was just lost and I went looking for Islam. But I want to clarify, I did not realize how lost I was until I found Islam. I went to the bookstore one day and I bought the English version of the Quran. I started to read it and the more and more I read, the more I felt that it was the truth. Some people might not know this, but the Quran is backed by a lot of science. The Quran was sent down 1400 years ago at a time where people couldn't possibly know scientific discoveries that have only been made within the last 100 or 50 years. And the text of the Quran has not changed, unlike the Bible and other religious texts. Some people got confused in my original video and said to me, hey, I thought you were a woman of science. How can you say that you're interested in science? You know, obviously the Big Bang is true. It's been proved by science. The Big Bang is in the Quran. The Quran talks about how the universe was created, how it expands. It talks about creatures evolving from water, the continental shifts, how the ozone layer protects us. This information cannot be possibly known to a human from 1400 years ago. How this is how they fool your children. And many of you is laughing and they think that this is a joke. Just wait until your child or your son or your wife or your sister come back home and she got fooled and scammed so please think carefully about what we do this is extremely important don't come here watch the video and laugh and go home and sleep and laugh Islam is a stupid but Western are more stupid than Islam I'm not saying this girl is stupid. She's young. But our society is a stupid society. Let us go back a little bit backward and see how the Muslims, they were able to control her mind. And the text of the Quran has not changed. The, the text of the Quran has not changed. Now, for sure, this girl, she's poor girl, she do not know that there's no, nothing is called Quran, actually. Until now, the Muslims do not have any manuscript of the Quran. A few years ago, they found uh, a gift from a priest, uh, which is uh, uh, one page of the Quran, which is not even the same as the Quran today. And the Muslims, they were so excited for having it. Until now, the Muslims do not have any manuscript for their Quran. And the earliest Quran they found, like in Samarkand or Sana'a, does not match at all with the Quran the Muslims they practice today. However, when the Muslim says to us the Quran never been changed, we have tons of reference speaking about the Quran changing. As an example, the, the Imam al suyuti which is a big Muslim scholar, mentioned more than 57 change of the Quran, and one of them alone is enough to destroy the whole Quran. He said, 
according to Aisha that the Quran uh, the chapter of Al-Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al-Baqarah which mean more than 200 verses missing in the Quran but there is a very famous statement from Aisha herself the wife of Muhammad where she spoke about even Allah could not protect the Quran from a goat where the goat ate the Quran and now there is many verses of the Quran is missing including the verses of stoning to death and the breastfeeding for adult and if God could not change the Quran no, could not protect the Quran against a goat I wonder how he can protect the, the, the Quran against something else if we continue with her she will say the following unlike the Bible and here when the Muslim they said to somebody the Bible is a change they forgot that this girl she is a poor girl and, and I don't want to call her name that she is a stupid but she is a, just a child the Bible the Muslim they speak about is changed this is the Bible of Allah because in case you do not know little kid the Muslims believe that Allah is the one who sent the Injil so when a Muslim he says to you that the Injil did change he is talking about the Injil of Allah so how in the same time you accept that the Quran never been changed which is the book of Allah but the Injil which is the book of Allah is changed is it this is stupid how we say that the Quran never been changed but the Injil is a change when the Quran and the Injil both of them they are the book of Allah <laughs> how we can believe that this God he was able to protect the Quran but he was not able to protect his other book which is called the Injil you see here the books revealed before him this is a false translation it doesn't say that it says in uh, in, in Arabic at Torah will Injil let us change the translation and see how the translation will change this is why when you read from Islamic translation they fool you with their lies this guy he said confirming you know what was before it revealed before it but what is what is you know it says here and even as he revealed the Torah and the gospel so in the same time how he confirmed what is revealed before it which is the Torah and the Injil and the Muslim they lie to you and they say the gospel and the Torah is is a changed but again she is just a naive young girl the Muslims did lie to her now we continue in the video you know we will do our best uh, uh, to answer all the points she mentioned so we can help this girl and actually I'm making this this video special for her I hope she will listen carefully other religious texts some people got confused in my original video and said to me hey i thought you were a woman of science how can you say that you're interested in science you know obviously the big bang is true it's been proved by science the big bang is in the quran the big bang is in the quran i mean did you see it the big bang they told her that the big bang in the quran <laughs> chapter 51 verse number 47 let us see if the big bang is in the quran this is the chapter they they, they told you uh, lady <clears throat> and she mentioned in the video that this is in verse number 47 so just to be sure this is exactly what she meant right 47 okay we go there forty seven <clears throat> we have built the heaven with might and we who make the vast extent therefore and this is supposedly the big band I mean what are you talking about first of all what what uh, what the verse here is saying that we made the uh, we built the heaven uh, with power and we are going and we, are, we can even do more I have nothing to do with the big bang but let me correct you I think what she is trying to talk about is different verse in the Quran she's confused a little bit where the Muslim they say uh, that this verse here <clears throat> this verse chapter 21 verse number 30 the Muslim is saying that this verse is speaking about the Big Bang heaven though heaven those so as uh, those who will disbelieve known that the heaven and the earth were one piece and when we parted them 
which means we separated them this is where the Muslims they speak about the big man but the fact this is not about the big man this is about the Muslims believe that Allah he rose the heaven as a roof in the top of us and he built a wall around the earth to you know to prevent the earth from from the from uh, uh, from the sky uh, to fail down on us uh, if you go you know you will see here as an example just go a few verses after that you will see it says and we have a place in the earth firm hill, hills or mountains actually it doesn't say hills and uh, uh, at least a quake with them the Muslim they say this is another miracle because it's proven that uh, uh, mountains they prevent uh, earthquake this is false mountains are happening because of earthquake and because the pressure of the tectonic plate not the opposite this is why where places have more earthquake we have more mountains so it is not true and doesn't matter how many mountains you have in the earth earthquake happen because simply mountains are too small to stop the earth from moving for the tectonic place is so huge compared to a mountain a mountain is like a piece of a, a little rock in the top of the tectonic plate and then he says and we have the made the sky a roof protected roof but this is not the, the they will say to you like this is the same girl she will say to you that the uh, <clears throat> Uh, the Quran speak about uh, the the atmosphere, the the protected uh, atmosphere. Let us see. The Quran talks about how the universe was created, how it expands. It talks about creatures evolving from water, the continental shifts how the ozone layer protects us. This information cannot be possibly... Okay, we, because we don't want to jump from uh, topic to topic. Let us see first if this, what this verse is about really... Let us go back here, that the earth and the heaven used to be uh, one piece and it was uh, uh, become uh, two pieces. All right, this one. If we go to that interpretation, chapter 21, verse number 30, we will find the following. This is the Islamic interpretation, not mine. And you will see there's nothing about that. All what the verse is saying, that Allah he is going, he is capable of doing more. Have nothing to do with any uh, explosion, etc. And this is, will be totally against the Quran in different verses. Because the Quran claim clearly that Allah created first the earth and then he created the heaven. And those who do not believe, okay, Muhammad, etc., etc., we do not send down the drug, this is a, etc., send down a, a drop of rain or etc., vegetation in the earth, and okay, and then blah, 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 okay, and blah, 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 You will see here, there's nothing speaking about the earth, like that big band or what they are saying we separated them but the fact we are not separated the earth is little dust inside the space how we can be separated this is stupid to say we can be separated if we are two different part so like in the left there is a space and in the right there's only earth and that's it we are not touching each other but the fact we are inside the space we are not separated so this is a stupid statement but the reason for muhammad to say such a stupid mistake he said in different verse in the quran and we will go there. <clears throat> In chapter 13, verse number 2, Muhammad, he said that Allah, it is he who raised up this heaven without visible support. So what Muhammad is claiming that the sky was down in the earth and we lifted up with, with, with support which you cannot see. Let us go and see the interpretation for this verse so we can love together. Chapter 13, verse number 2. As you see, we are not making our own interpretation. This is the Muslim uh, uh, cleric themselves giving interpretation. So uh, they are saying here, Read carefully with me. He created the heaven and raised up them above the earth without visible support. He says, you see them without support and also say, this is mean, they have support which you do not see. All right? 
then he mounted in the throne so this is a nothing but a fiction story that the earth is rose uh, uh, separated from the heaven and Allah he left up the heaven from the top of the earth and this is why the earth uh, is separated from the from the heaven because Allah he put columns and he hold the earth the, the heaven from fading down if we go to the different verse in the Quran we will find the following <coughs> All right. In chapter 20, uh, uh, 22, verse number 65, the Quran says that it is e Allah who holds the sky from falling down on us. <laughs> so this is what he meant by lifting up the sky from the earth. He lifted it up, so now the sky became a roof and the sky is hold from uh, fail on earth, as you see, which is very stupid st uh, thing to say. So they lied to her, they said to her, this is about the Big Bang, but the fact, all oh, the Quran is a fiction story, and the one who is holding the, star, the sky from falling down on earth is Allah by holding it from falling down. And we know that this is stupid to say because the, the space in the front of us is nothing, is empty. Well, what, what, what is going to fail on us? The cloud? What is going to fail on us exactly? What is that? So, he hold the heaven from falling on the earth but the earth in order in order for the heaven to fall in the earth the, the, the earth have to be at least equal size of the heaven we are just a dust <laughs> we are inside the heaven what do you mean you hold it from falling down on us we continue yeah this is deep cp this is deep but my, my, my friend as you see little things they can mislead your child and take him to hell so don't laugh because your child can be the coming victim. Keep laughing. Yeah, take it. Just, just keep take it as a joke. This is what you people do. You are speaking about something extremely serious, and you guys are taking it as a joke. known to a human from 1400 years ago however there's one particular verse in the Quran that mentions that really really hit the spot and when I read this I really knew this is the real religion we sent down iron the language of the Quran is very precise it doesn't say we created iron it says we sent it down. For those of you who do not know, iron does not originate from the earth. The energy and heat needed to produce iron cannot be produced on earth. Earth was struck by me. Whoever taught you my little uh, sister is a donkey because the earth contained a huge amount of iron. The magma is nothing but melting iron. What are you talking about? It's full of iron. Uh, what the science says, that a little of the iron which is exists in the top of the crust of the earth is coming from meteor. It is not the earth was without iron. That is very stupid of you to say. What about you go to Google and do a little search, search where the iron originated and you will see the answer. I mean, why people don't search? She claimed that she was an atheist and now she became a Muslim. What is the origin of the iron? This is not a Christian website. Here we go. This is the address science.com. Science in science Me myself, I, did, I am not a scientist. I did just search here and I found okay, this is the address and says this article. Let us see what this article is saying. You will see that the earth magma is full of iron, and what you are saying is absolutely false. Little of the iron, maybe less than five percent of the iron on the crust of the earth is coming from meteor, and what you said is absolutely false. So you will see here, by scientific standard, the origin of the iron, one of the most violent processes, etc., a type of star known as a red giant being to turn all helium, blood, or carbon into atom. Those atom began into to iron, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then, then forming atom into planets such as Earth. So from the beginning of the form of the Earth, there was iron. Not what they lie to you and they said that iron was something brought and sent down to the earth. 
even though the Quran doesn't say that we send down the Aaron and I will show you what 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 the Quran is saying uh, if you go here you will see uh, iron uh, from meteors not all iron on earth surface got here with initial uh, planetary information massive chunk of crab blah 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 this is only what is in the crust but inside the earth the earth main building block is sim simply is iron look carefully with me born of those violent explosion earth core likely mostly milton iron so the earth from the beginning is an iron so what do you mean uh, if you do not know the iron is coming from the sky? This is stupid of you to say. What science says that there is a part of the iron which is in the crust of the earth is coming from the meteor. Science doesn't say that earth receives its iron from the, from the space. That's stupid. Because based on this, actually, the, 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 the earth itself is a meteor. The whole earth is a meteor. <laughs> anyway. But if we go in the Quran, the verse she is quoting for us, you know, and this is how they fool them. We surely send apostle with the clear signs and send with them the book and balance to the man. Uh, 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 so uh, may stand by justice. And we send down the iron which caused much distress. Okay. So now you notice that here in the same verse he said he sent down apostles. He sent what? Apostle. Do you think Muhammad was like the Aaron came down from heaven? Do you think Abraham he came down like Aaron from heaven? He sent sent down Aaron, yes, but he said we sent down books too, and we sent down apostle. So what the Quran is saying, anything you have is sent down from Allah. But they lie to you and they make it as okay the Aaron is coming down from the space but as you see we send down apostle hmm? we send down the books and by the way translation here is not accurate because here it says we send them with the book if we change the translator you will see how right away the translation change and this is why I feel sorry for those Western who they get into the deception game because they don't speak Arabic they lie to you. Translation of Ahmad Ali. Let's see the front translation. Uh, uh, Yusuf Ali. Okay. Uh, Yusuf Ali, he said, and we sent down with them the books. Do you see it? <laughs> so do you believe that the messenger of Allah they are sent down and books was sent to and iron was sent to in one basket maybe <laughs> not only that in different verse in the Quran Allah he claimed that he sent down our underwear so what about we make that as a miracle if we go in the Quran we will find the following <clears throat> Read and love. In chapter seven, verse number twenty-six, all you children of of, uh, of Adam, we send down. You see here, they said we bestowed. Doesn't say that actually. It says we send down. Change the translator. Just to show you how the translation play a big game in this this deception uh, uh, game of Islam. Okay. You see here suddenly the word is sent down appear in the other translator does not appear we have all children of adam we send uh, we, we have indeed sent down you clothing to cover your shame so okay so if each time allah he said we send down we make it as a miracle of science here we go the underwear you have and my underwear is sent down by allah and actually not only that the translation is a big fat lie because in the in the Arabic it says 
we send you down feather even the feather variation in the translation the, the word feather disappear what is the word feather so which mean even the chicken have its feather sent down by Allah and feather was our clothes change the translation again you see how many times when you have to change the translation in order to find missing words in the translation so now the one before him we did not see the send down so we change the translator now we send it we train the translator we found send down but we do not find the word feather okay we change again <clears throat> from shabir ali to sahih international let us see here we go there is no feather you know and here the word sent down disappear change the different translator <laughs> unbelievable okay let us see which one which one <clears throat> let us see what is uh let us try uh arbery and we send down garment to cover you where is the word feather i cannot see the word feather Honest to God, it says with the word feather there. In Arabic, it says warish. <laughs> I can't find it. Oh, hold on, hold on. I found it. I found it. Sorry, I found it. Here we go. Finally, we got the word feather. And feathers. Do you see it? So Allah He sent down underwear. Allah He sent down feather. Allah sent down prophet. Allah sent now messenger. And Allah sent down Aaron. But even the iron Allah he sent down the one you are talking about as a miracle he sent it down not for good he sent it for killing if we go and see interpretation of why Allah he sent down the iron you will find that Allah he sent it down so we can kill each other this is not what you think read carefully with me and love This is the interpretation we created the iron where where in is mighty power such as only fire make it uh, payable and also mean this is a mighty thing for fighting and war and many use of mankind so the 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 iron miracle struck me how amazing it is i mean that's just, that's uh, that's a stupid now uh as long as we are talking about this uh, let us see what the second thing she said because we don't want to miss what she said in order to answer all her uh, you know poor girl meteorites sent down from space right, such right. information was only recently discovered so how is it possible that somebody from 1400 years ago was able possible? to know this information since reverting to islam my life has changed a lot and since i made my original video six months ago a lot has changed i originally said that i wasn't going to wear a hijab 100 percent let us go back to speak quran. about the miracle the quran talks about how the universe was created how it expands it talks about creatures evolving from water the continental shifts how the ozone layer protects us the ozone protect us so let's see this one this list lie you see the muslims they have tons of lies about the ozone as an example the layers of the ozone and they say to us that in chapter of al kahf verse number 90 it says until he reached the rising sun and he found the right the sun rising on people who whom had no cover uh, uh, or shelter on them and the Muslim they say oh this is the ozone and this is the North Pole and supposedly here the Muslim they made Alexander the Great he went to the North Pole but the fact here it says clearly a mistake in the Quran that he found where the Sun rise I mean this is the most stupid statement to say this is the chapter of the cave the same chapter where it says that he found the Sun where the Sun set and he found the Sun set in the murky water which is very stupid to say too but here in this verse Alexander the Great he found where the sun rise and next to it he found where people they have no shelter But in the interpretation it says the opposite is this is not the North Pole. They have no shelter because it's so hot Not because it is so cold And same time I do not need to go anywhere to find where the sun rise the sun rise everywhere only donkeys they believe they have to go and travel from point a to point b to find where the sun rise in different and this is by the way this is a website made by Harunihia who arrested for 
prostitution, hum, uh, 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 women trafficking, teenage uh, uh, sexual assault, uh, 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 and many frauds. He was arrested, and he is the one behind all those false miracles. And right now, as we speak, he is in jail, and he will stay for, in jail maybe for, for the coming 20 years. As you see, they are saying, this is a Jazeera TV. This is not a Christian TV, or this is a Jazeera. He just uh, arrested like a few months ago. So this is the guy, Adnan Ukhtar. He called himself Harun, Harun Yahya, the one behind all those false miracles. He himself is nothing but a fraud. Now, let us show you another fraud he came with, and the Muslims, they copy-paste. They say in the, the she mentioned the atmosphere in the Quran, the scientific miracle of the Quran, the layers of the atmosphere, and he mentioned here two chapter for us: Quran two two nine, and Quran forty one eleven twelve. And that will take us back to how the earth is created, so we can show this girl how stupid the Quran again. Look with me here; it says, "It is he, it is he who created everything, an earth for you." And then he directed him, uh, his attention up to the heaven and arranged it into seven heavens. So according to this verse, uh, uh, little girl, the Quran teach that Allah, he created the earth first. And by the way, the translation is again is false. He did not direct his attention. It says in Arabic, and then he went up to heaven. Let us go to the Quran and see chapter 2, verse number 29 and love to God. <clears throat> <laughs> Unbelievable how, how they try to fool people and I mean deception is a big big game big game But it's not their fault. It's our fault. We are not doing enough work to prevent such a deception to happen to our children It is he who created for you all that on earth then he lifted himself up to heaven So they say to you that the Quran teach the Big Bang But according to Islam the earth was created first and then the heaven How they told you that the Big Bang is in the Quran and here the Quran saying that he created everything in the earth and the heaven was empty and not only that he created them seven heavens and now they, they are saying to you that those seven heavens are the atmosphere but this is the heavens the whole universe what atmosphere in different verse in the Quran <laughs> in different verse in the Quran <laughs> It says the following. <clears throat> in chapter uh, uh, in chapter uh, forty one, it says the following. And by the way, he is the one in the in the in the article miracle. He is the one who chose the number chapter forty one, not me. So don't think I'm picking up my cherry. He is the one who is using this to prove to you the layer of the Quran, the layer of the atmosphere. But the same verse he chose for us, proving that they are liars. Read with me carefully. Then he turned into heaven when it was a smoke. So Allah, he finished the earth first, and then he moved to the heaven, and the heaven was a smoke, which means was empty. In two days, he determined them as seven heavens and revealed in every heaven its own mandate. But hold on here, guys. What if I show you that this guy he cut something from the verses? Did he cut something from the verse? Yes, he did. Let me show you. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. Now, remember, he quote for us chapter 41, verse number 12, 11 and 12. But there is something he did not show us because that will get the Quran busted and show us the Quran to be a stupid book. Here you will see. Let us close this one. Okay. Then he created the se several sky into spans and in grind in, in each sky in its uh, function, uh, decking nearest heaven with lamps. This translation is really weird. Let me try. I mean, why I'm switching to Ahmad Ali? Why is switching automatically to Ahmad Ali? Or maybe this is the original. Uh, let us go to Big Tal. I mean, this guy Ahmad Ali looked like he's using Google Translation. Then he ordained them with seven heaven into in two days and inspire each heaven its mandate, and uh, we dig the the neither heaven with lamps. N neither heaven, it says here the lowest heaven. Let us change the translator again. 
this should be coming as the lowest heaven what neither heaven yeah it's the, the meaning is a close but this is not really accurate read carefully so he completed them as seven heaven ferment and two days and he assigned each heaven in duty and command and we adorn the lower heaven finally the lower heaven with lights so according to your god now the one you choose to be a god of miracle only in the lower heaven of those seven heavens there is lamps there is stars so they lie to you and they say this is about liars of the atmosphere this is why in the article he cut the part where it says and he adorned the lower heaven with lamps do you see it if we go back in the in the in the article we will see he did not mention the lamps where is the lamps do you see it guys here we go he is quoting chapter 41 verse number 11 and verse number 12 but we don't see the lamps are you are you guys can you see it is it clear for you let me zoom in do you see how the word lamps disappear because that if we add the lamps that will get them busted because that's mean inside the atmosphere the stars are located So this is how they play their games to deceive our children. And now we will make the video and nobody of you will download it to share it around. So you tomorrow, you get home and you find your daughter saying to you, Baba, Daddy, I want to be a Muslim. Or I, I became a Muslim already. Keep laughing. Keep laughing and think this is a joke what we are doing. This is how they fool and this is how they scam and this is how they brainwash your children. So they cut off the verses and look, you will not see a Muslim complaining. Like, did you see any Muslim saying this is not what it says? Nobody complained because this is will bring people to Islam and Muslims are allowed to lie so they can bring people to Islam. And if they are not allowed to lie, you tell me why they are cutting the verse, changing the content of the verse, taking off the word lamp from the verse in order to lie and to deceive us. And to make it this is about the atmosphere and now look they have a scale scientific scale atmosphere at a thermosphere stratosphere mirosphere uh, thermosphere but and they, suddenly the seven heaven of allah this is where the muslim will have sex because the muslims they have seven heavens and every muslim will go to the heaven where he is going to belong to because there is ranks in the heaven the heaven is this divided to 100 rank so now supposedly we are going to have sex in the heaven which is the atmosphere do you see how they fool you and look he go down there he says do you see how we created seven heavens in layers but the seven heavens you just caught for for you it is where the stars are located and by the way here there's a mistake according to the quran the stars are located only in the lower heaven. Why? Because we made them as decoration. Read carefully with me. It says, and we have adorned the lower heaven with lights, which mean all the stars are decoration, which means they are visible. But the fact what we see of the stars is little 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 tiny number of what is there so saying that it is in the lower heaven and saying that this is a decoration that is a stupid mistake now as long as we are talking about the atmosphere the muslim they say to you the quran says we made the the uh, uh we made the sky as a protected roof but they will not tell you how the sky is a protected roof. Let us see how is the roof is working. Is it really the atmosphere? Maybe this one is about atmosphere. Maybe the other one does not work. It says here, وَجَعَلْنَا السَّمَاءَ سَقْفًا مَحْفُوظًا And we made the sky well protected. Roof, still they turn away from our sign. And they will say to you, see, the Quran, the Quran says, the atmosphere the sky is protected but my friend this is the opposite the quran saying that you cannot go out of the earth if you are a shaitan or a human if we go in different verse in the quran we will find the following
chapter 6 uh, 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 chapter sorry 55 verse number 33 it says it clearly O society of jinn and mankind cross beyond the heaven and the earth if you have ability then to pass but you cannot unless acquire the law acquire authority of Allah now how why he is saying is that is, uh, uh, let us see now how is the protected roof is simply if you read just two verses after you will see what happened if you try to go out of the zone of the earth Allah will shoot your ass with a star do you see it so the Muslim they say to you that this is the protected roof but the fact this is nothing but a fiction the God of Islam he claimed that the genie they try to steal information from Allah and if you try to go there Allah will shoot the ass of a human or genie who tried to go out of the earth yet they fool you and they say this is about protected roof which is the atmosphere protecting the earth from meteor but the fact it is the opposite it is you who cannot go out of the earth is not about nothing can get into the earth as you see here he is a challenging mankind and genie to go out of the earth in order not to say okay we are making up stories maybe this is not what it's meant chapter 55 verse number 33 interpretation please this is the official government of jordan O company of mankind, a genie and mankind. By the way, you believe in genie now, right? Get you know, have fun with the with the with the science you believe in. Uh, the one who who told you about the Big Bang, he told you there is a genie. Okay. O company of the of the jinn and man, if you have power, you able to penetrate all the break free from the regions that the excrements of the heaven and the earth, and the, from the rows of angels. Then the protein to them, then break free and flee if you can. Allah is making a challenge. You will not be able to break free. Save our sanctions. And those are like the prophets or angels who go to heaven. So how foolish of us to believe that this is the, the, the zoom when well, this is nothing but a fiction, stupid. And already this verse alone is proving to us that Allah is a false God because already we have people who went to the space we have already now right now as we speak people who live in the space we have tons and hundreds of satellite on the space and yet Allah did not shoot their ass do you see it how you can believe in such a garbage what else she said about miracle let me try to remember what else you said so we can love more. Let us go back. I don't want to skip. Unlike the Bible and other religious texts, some people got confused in my original video and said to me, Hey, I thought you were a woman of science. How can you say that you're interested in science? You know, obviously, the Big Bang is true, it's been proved by science. Hold on. Let us see how your prophet explained the Big Bang theory. And you will love to gather to me and you. And this is a Sahih Hadith. Sahih Hadith. Muslim cannot say to you it's weak. This is Sahih Muslim. Muhammad is talking. He said, Allah the exalted, the glorious, he created the clay on Saturday, and he created the mountains on Sunday, and he created the trees on Monday, and he created all things in Thailand and labor on Tuesday, and he created the light on Wednesday, and he caused the animals to spread on Tuesday and Thursday. And he created Adam peace upon him after Asr in Friday. <laughs> what is the Big Bang? I mean, what's wrong with people? I feel sorry for you, little girl. Honest to God, I feel so sad when I saw your video. I feel so sorry for you. Contact her people and tell her to watch my videos and get to get my books. Actually, I, I wish I know her address. I will send her my books for free. How in the world they did get you? 
Islam is the most stupid cult. What about how the baby is created in Islam? Because she mentioned she mentioned the creation, right? If we go and see how the Quran is speaking about the baby creation, you will die laughing. <laughs> read, uh, read, uh, uh, cur you know, carefully and laugh. I will choose a, a short uh, verse so we don't need to read long. Then we made the sperm into a clot. First of, uh, first of all, the 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 human being is created from one semen, not a drop of a sperm. Drop of a sperm have millions, millions. And this is the first mistake. Secondly, and the sperm transform into a clot of a congealed blood. That is the second stupid mistake. How God he do not know that this is absolutely false. There is no stage for the embryo where we are a congealed dead blood. Congealed blood is a dead blood. So, first mistake: sperm will not transform, and it's only one semen, not the whole sperm. And the sperm will not transform into a clot and congeal the blood. The sperm, one semen, go inside uh, 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 the, the egg of the woman. And you see here the Quran did not mention the egg. It's the sperm transform into something else. The sperm go into the egg and, uh, and, and activate the egg and deliver the DNA. And then the, the sperm would disappear because it became only the DNA what is left of it. So what is going to grow after that is the egg. Multiplying the DNA which received from the sperm or let's say the, the semen and which is in the egg already, it is not the sperm will transform into a congealed dead blood. A dead blood is dead blood, it's dead. And then the Quran continued doing stupid uh, uh, education after the sperm became a congealed blood, then the clot transformed into. A lump you see here the boot between two brackets photos this is lie it doesn't say that this is why actually between between two brackets lump lump simply you know when you eat like a chicken and you eat uh, let's say you want to bite the knee of the 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 uh, like what they call it like the joints the joints of the of the chicken or let's say you want to buy the the feet that you know they are like uh, not solid uh, not solid like they are you can chew them, but you cannot eat them. You know what I mean? This is what he's talking about. And then we made it out of the loom into bones. And then at the end, Allah will close us with the flesh. And only donkeys want to believe in such a thing. So based on the Quran, when the Quran say uh, 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 such a thing, what the Quran is saying to us, just to make it simple for, uh, for you, <clears throat> But after Allah, He, cre uh, you know, uh, uh, He, He, uh, uh, like He made you as a, as a uh, as a congealed blood, dead blood. After that, He will make you as this, and then He will close you. <laughs> so now we are almost done and ready for Allah to finish us. So what we are now, we are just bones. And after that, Allah will clothe us with flesh and, and, and skin. Who is the donkey when I believe in that? And this is what the Quran is saying. It's in front of you. And not only that, Muhammad, he cannot keep himself, you know, his, his, his mouth shut and always he have to do his own poo-poo. Muhammad he said about how the baby is created the following <clears throat> read carefully with me when a drop of semen remain in the womb for 40 or 50 days what 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 the drop of the semen and this is again Sahih Muslim the Muslim they cannot say to us this is weak according to science Semen can live maximum, maximum five to six days. According to Muhammad, sperm, and the Muslim, they put it between two brackets, even though he did not say the word semen, it's, uh, he said only, he said a drop of sperm, not far. 
remain the whole nutfa, which means millions of sperm, they remain inside the womb. What womb? The sperm go to the womb. Where you know, I mean the Muslims, the Muslims really they, they, they are they are like crazy to believe in such a garbage. And then after you are as a sperm for 40 or 50 nights, Al Muhammad is not sure, maybe 40, 50 nights. The angels come and say, Oh my lord, good or evil. And not only that, at the last stage, Allah decides if it's going to be male or female, which means after he finish you and close you with bones and etc., the last thing to be decided is male or female. Now, who is the one want to believe in such a garbage? And they say to you, Islam is full of science. Not to forget to mention, as long as we are talking about the baby creation, Muhammad he claimed that if the man have orgasm first, the baby will resemble the father, and if the women have orgasm first, the baby will resemble the mother. Now, do you really believe in that? The Muslim, they might say to you, oh, this is a weak hadith, but this is, as you see, it is sahih, which means correct. So what science we are talking about? Or maybe the Muslim did not mention to you the flying carpet of Suleiman and the ring of Suleiman. Or maybe the Muslim did not mention to you that the Quran says that women sperm coming from the ribs of the women and the man is sperm coming from the backbone of the man. My friend, if you don't want to, what happened to this poor girl to happen to your daughter, your sister, even your wife, share my videos. What we do is not a joke. Deception is powerful. Don't think that everybody in the world he know it. If you know already Islam is false, doesn't mean everybody know it. Actually, nobody knows yet anything about Islam. After all what we did, very few people they understand and very few people they learn. And your children are the target. So if you think that okay i learned i listened to christian prince <laughs> islam is stupid <laughs> islam is funny <laughs> islam is funny <laughs> stupid muhammad <laughs> quran <laughs> but what about if this has happened to you what if this girl is your daughter this little child is a victim of her family not victim of the muslims who deceive her because if her family, they are taking care of her, she will not end there. And this is why your children, they end either in drugs, madness. I saw many Western, they are totally lost. A child, either he might do drugs, smoke pot, marijuana. I mean, the, the, everybody is going high. I mean, uh, Actually, this, this girl actually is better than those who they are taking the drugs. At least she is not doing that. Even though she is following a cult, but at least she is not going down to that level taking drugs. Sex, drugs, no, no dignity. The child say the F word to his father. The child say the F word to his mother. Uh, 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 no family value the mother she sleep with 10,000 men and then nobody knows who is the father of the child and then I am a single mother and blah 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 and blah 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 and then we end here I am not angry from this girl I feel sorry for her I am angry from such a stupid Western society. They were able to reach the moon. 
but they were not able to reach any kind of knowledge about society and religion so they can prevent diseases from coming inside their houses and look right now she is wearing the gloves supposedly now she became a virgin and she is a holy woman and she is wearing gloves and she is wearing the burqa now maybe next step she will go and join some group Did Muhammad told you that the man he can beat his wife, which is a miracle in the in the family science? Maybe they did not mention that to you, right? What kind of God he says a man he can beat his wife? And what is the logic of beating the wife according to Islam? Simply because the man he have the right to beat his wife because he spent money on her. As of the woman, she is a hooker. Because this is how men who rent a hooker, they treat them with disrespect. Read carefully and look at this amazing miracle. Men are in charge of women because Allah has made the one of them excel the other because they spend their property for their support so good women is our obedience guarding their secret with allah has secret uh, has has guarded as for those whom you fear just fear they do not do anything wrong yet the muslim by the way they will say to you ah uh, maybe she's committing adultery this is a big fat lie a muslim she commit adultery her punishment punishment is different it's not her husband even will beat her is the Sharia law court they will lash her 100 times if she is not married if she is married she would be stoned so this is a married woman not a woman who is not so what we do with her this is not about adultery this is about we fear rebellion like you say to your wife make me some tea and she say okay sound like she is not happy to do it so what we do admonish them and punish them from beds apart which means you jail them in their rooms and scourge them and then if they obey you seek not a way against them so what a way to make a woman obedience is to use violence and all mean of stress and terrorism because when i admonish you and i jail you and i beat you and the purpose is to make you obey me that is nothing but terrorism what if the man is not good to his wife? Can the wife beat him? No. Can the wife stop sleeping with him? No. Can the wife admonish him? No. And not only that, Muhammad, he made it clear that the most of women, they will go to hellfire. Why? Because they have their own ministration and if you have a ministration you are not qualified to go to heaven have you ever heard of such a cult so Allah he created the women they have their menses and because they have their menses we will send them to hell and women they will go to heaven only if they gave Muhammad their earring, as we see in the story. So Muhammad, he came to the women, he said, hey, women, most of you are going to be the fuel of hellfire. They said to him, why we will be the fuel of hellfire? What we did? He said, for most of them, the fuel of hellfire, a woman having a dark spot in her cheek, stood up and said why why it is so messenger of allah he said for you gramble often and show ingratitude to your spouse or if you do that you will go to hell and then began to give alms out of their you know from from what they have with them and their earring and their bracelet and they give it to, to bilad so Muhammad, he scared the hell of those women and he said to them, you will go to hell. And now because they start giving their bracelet and their earring, 
Muhammad, he will lead them to go to, to heaven. Give alms. Most of you are the fuel of hellfire. Okay, so now if I give Allah some bracelet, I will go to heaven? Yes. If I give Allah my earring, I will go to heaven? Absolutely. Give me your earring. Isn't it obvious that this is a scam? What giving my earring have to do with going to heaven? I am I, am I a better person now? If I give my earring to Muhammad, is that will make me a better person? Now I'm qualified to go to heaven, yes. What kind of prophet this prophet is? And not only Muhammad, he said that. He said, Muhammad, Muhammad he said that women, they have deficiency in their brain. They have mental issues. Look what he said. Oh, women folk, you should give it charity. Okay. Why? And for us forgiveness because I have seen in the night, etc., that the deliverer of heaven, uh, of hell, are women. Oh, the, the hell is full of women. There's no men there. A woman among them said, why is it that majority of people of hell, there will be women? The prophet, he said, you curse frequently and ungrateful to your husband. In spite of your lacking of wisdom and failing a religion, you are the the the, 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 uh, the wisest of the man of their intelligence. Upon this, the women ask, what is deficiency in our wisdom and in our religion? He said, your lack of wisdom can be will judge in the fact of evidence that two women are equal to one man. Where in the Quran? The Quran says two women are equal to one man in the court. And by the way, a woman in Islam, she cannot be a witness in the court in any capital punishment, which means they can only be witnesses only in the case of borrowing money but not in the case of a theft or a crime or anything. And they can be accepted in a minor issues to be witnesses. Like as an example, a woman, she gave birth because only women, she can go inside the room. So to confirm that this baby is the baby of that woman, in this case, women is allowed to be a witness. Otherwise, they are not allowed. And not only that, even in the case of borrowing money, at least you have to have one man and two women to make the witnessing accepted. And not only that, Women, in order to be accepted as witnesses, the society have to accept those two women, which means just because you are a woman, you have additional condition. So if there is one man and two women, that can be accepted in the case of borrowing money only, but still the society have to approve that those two women, they are not, they are not a bad woman and they are trustworthy. Not for the man, not so for the man. The man is enough for him to be a man and he is trustworthy. So how in the world we can accept that? If you go in the Quran, Quran explained to us why the, the, why the women, she cannot be a witness in the court. Because simply, a woman, she have half a brain. And then, because they are they are women, you know, which means this to make it simple, you know, they are stupid. The women are stupid according to Islam. So they cannot be witnessing in the in the court because simply if they uh, uh, if they make a statement, they cannot remember. They have a bad memory, uh, and therefore, in order to uh, uh, you know to to fix this issue, this weakness in the women, then we have no choice but to make the two women equal to one man. Because one woman alone is going to be not enough to be a witness in the court. So, uh, if we go in the Quran, we find the following. There's many verses actually we can show, um, but let us see which one we will choose. Hmm. <coughs>
All right. Look how long this verse. But anyway, we will show what is enough. And call witnesses among you. Two men, two witnesses. Read carefully with me. And call witnesses from among you men, not women. Men. But what if there is no men enough? And they have two men. And if two men be not in hand, then a man and two women of such as you approve as witnesses. Do you see it? Why two women? So that if one err, the other one, she will remind her. So the Quran claim that women, they have half a brain and they have bad memory. So we cannot make two women equal to two, two men or one, one woman equal to a man. No, because women are half a brain. So now we need two women. So if one of them is being stupid, the other one will correct her. But look how stupid this theory is. Because if women are stupid anyway, so how can a stupid women correct a stupid woman? Are you getting my point, guys? If the women are half a brain anyway, so how why you are assuming that only one of them is going to be half a brain? <laughs> if the women are half a brain, that means it doesn't matter if there's two women or three women or four women or six women or one thousand women, all of them they will be half a brain anyway. And by the way, this is scientifically, I don't want to say the word bullshit, but I have to say it. This is scientifically bullshit. Because if you go with your wife to a party and you come back and we ask you what you ate, you will not even remember. But if we ask the women, she will tell what people ate, what the dishes they have, what women they have as earrings, what they have as shoes, what they have as the clothing, what they have as perfume, and what the women, what, what the bride she was wearing in her head, and what kind of a hairstyle, and what kind of makeup she have, and what kind of blah 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 blah. The man he remember nothing. So this is the most stupid statement ever. When it's come to details, women are a lot better than men. If you ask a man what he ate to, to, today in the breakfast, he might not to remember. It was my, not my intention to keep this video long. So please download this video, share it around. So what happened to this poor girl will not happen to your daughter. And when I say share it around, at least share it with your family first. So your daughter will not be a victim like what happened to this poor girl. Don't be a naive and don't think that this is, might not happen to you. This girl was an atheist and she never thought of Islam. She met some Muslims, they did lie to her, they fooled her, and they convinced her. And here we go, bingo! This is not a joke. This is very serious. Can destroy your family, can destroy your future, can change your life upside down. No, don't stay away from Islam. You have to get closer to Islam in order to know how to fight it. It's not right to say stay away from Islam. I'm so close to Islam, and this is why I know Islam is so disgusting. Islam is like a mountain from far away. From far away, you might see the mountain covered by trees, even though the mountain maybe have few trees, because eye is deceiving. The more get closer, the more you see better, and the more you notice that the mountains really have a lot of spaces, have no trees in it. 
It's the same as the moon. You see the moon, you think it's so beautiful, but if you put a telescope, you will see that the moon is ugly. Because your eyes are deceiving you. You don't see really the details of the moon. That's all for tonight. I hope people would download the video and share it around. And I sure I'm sure many of you don't care. And you know, many of you here just just for laughing and joking. They don't care really for what we do. But what I do, I take it very serious in order to save your children. And as you see, it's 1:40 a.m. in the morning for me. I have my voice is gone, my eyes is hurting, and yet I am here to do what I need to do. For I believe that every child is lost is a crime against us. We are committing a crime. If we don't do what is enough, we are partner of the crime. If every one of us think about himself only, oh, I know Islam is false, so I don't care. Well, wait until it's come to your home. Your children, they go to school. They meet with Muslim children. They go to university. They go to restaurant. They go to places, and Muslim children are very well trained. Your children are very naive. They can't explain two words from their Bible. Here we go. This girl, she isn't even an atheist, and they got her so easy. We have two generation, or let us say, we have two kind of of children. We have Muslim children who they are trained since the first day in their life to attack Christianity. And we have Christian children or atheist children who have nothing to do with their own religion or even with Islam. So they cannot answer about their own and they cannot talk about the others. You guess who is going to win? You have all the money to buy your child a video game. Right? So your child is spend the day playing games in TV. Let us see how the video game is going to help him in the future when he meet a Muslim and he try to fool him. Spend time with your children, guide them, teach them. Don't be a foolish man. Speak about what you learned with your wife, with your family. Thank you very much for listening. And if anyone would like to learn more about Islam, feel free, you can get my books from Amazon.com. Just, just type Christian Prince or Amazon Germany or Amazon France or whatever. Just type Christian Prince and you will find the list of my books in many languages. I want to say thank you for being here. Please download the videos and share them around. So might we might, I hope this girl, she will see my video. She's free to contact me. Actually, I left a comment in, in her channel. She can contact me anytime. I will speak to her with respect. I am not angry from her. I am. I'm sorry for her. Not angry. I. I you know. I, I. I believe she is a victim. She is not a bad person at all. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord, and Islam is false. See you soon again.